Welcome back to the Monster Garden. This video is going to be a little different from the others in the sense that it's going to be a lot less structured and more just me talking about what I'm working on. The main thing that has been taking up my time is struggling to decide what the next video will be about, because all the topics that I want to cover seem to need so much time. At first, I was going to have it be about the Dwarven Automatons, but the issue with that was that I still want to design more of them before doing the video, but it's still so hard for me to draw this style of mechanical design. It's just one of my weaknesses. And the main interesting point that I would have covered in the video would have been the struggle to find the Dwarven aesthetic. The reason I haven't talked much more about the Dwarves or their crafts up until this point was because I wasn't quite sure what they would even look like. Nothing quite fit what I needed. But I think this recent drawing I did, I'd say, is quite close, and I wanted to talk about the reason behind why they look the way they do. But the script just got completely messed up. I couldn't figure out how to transition from my struggle with the design to the revelation of realizing what I wanted their crafts to look like, and smoothly explaining why they designed them the way they do. So that wasn't going anywhere. I wasted a good week and a half on that. Then I was like, okay, I gotta do something else. And I realized I don't really draw that much anymore. Like, I don't draw outside of drawing for videos, which is a severe lack of drawing. I felt like I had a way healthier ratio of producing drawings when I was focusing on posting things on Twitter before making videos. So I thought, well, maybe I can rekindle that drawing habit by making a Blue Sky account, which I'll link in the description below, by the way. But yeah, so I made one and put some old drawings on there to get things started, and then just drew what I wanted to, which at the time was some average soldiers. And I enjoyed it. But before I could post them, the dread of not having made a video for a while loomed over my head once more. So I thought, well, I needed to turn this into something, so I came up with the idea of making a scale chart. I already have these two soldiers, so why not just add all the other characters of Rust and Trenches onto the same canvas to show their scale? Yeah, that seems like a great idea until I realized, well, that's going to take a hell of a long time. Especially because for some reason I thought using already finished images wasn't good enough. I had to redraw them, because a lot of them don't have the same camera angle or have a background tape to them. And because there is a bunch of characters on the same canvas, a lot of the issues I had with each of the characters popped up all at once. So I simultaneously needed to redraw all of the characters while also having doubts about the Hatch Folk and Cabrac's design and redesigning those, and also deciding to move the Warbore over to Verus's side instead, so having to think about redesigning their armor as well, and also designing a new creature, which I did on stream, and that part actually went quite quite well, look at these cute little things, and another creature which is less cute, but all that combined turned what was supposed to be a fun relief of not worrying about videos and just drawing for fun immediately back into the pressure of trying to do a task that was way too big, especially because I already wasted a week and a half on an unusable dwarf script. In the end, I got burnt out, and I've been staring at this canvas unchanged for quite a while, adding bits slowly here and there, but at a painful crawl. So I decided, you know what? Maybe I should just do an update video. No need to worry about the drawing being finished, just sharing where I'm at, hopefully lifting some of the pressure of not having posted a video in the process. And so, here we are. And I guess it was quite nice writing out what I've been stuck on and telling you about it. So, what's the plan now? Well, what I think is I'm gonna try and think of the videos more as updates, which means they might have less finished drawings and more scattered scripts, which, I mean, it's not like the videos before this had incredibly polished scripts, but it'll be a lot less stressful and laid back for me, which might help me pump out more videos and have them not really affect how often I draw. So I'm gonna focus more on just drawing for the sake of drawing and occasionally when I feel like updating you on something, I will. So the next video is actually gonna be about those little worm things, 
uh, and what role they play in the world, because, well, that's what I want to tell you about. So yeah, let's see how this goes, and thank you all for your patience and support, as always, of course, and uh, take care. <laughs>